Historically, abiraterone has been given concurrently with prednisone for the management of mineralocorticoid toxicity that comes on with CYP17 inhibition. Um, in the metastatic um, CRPC space, um, it's dosed with 10 milligrams of prednisone daily uh, or an equivalent, and in the hormone sensitive space, it's dosed with 5 milligrams of prednisone daily or an equivalent. Um, we uh, you know, uh, prednisone itself can have some uh, potentially unwanted uh, toxicities with long-term chronic use, and especially as abiraterone moves into moves earlier on into the disease landscape for metastatic um, prostate cancer um, that could have consequences for the patient. Um, so we conducted a single arm open label uh, phase two trial investigating um, the safety and um, toxicity of abiraterone given without exogenous glucocorticoids um, in patients with metastatic CRPC. Um, we enrolled a total of 60 patients. Um, so the, the study was designed that uh, anybody who would basically have metastatic CRPC um, with or without measurable disease, um, who was a candidate to receive treatment with abiraterone would enroll on the treatment. Um, patients underwent um, a baseline biopsy um, and then uh, patients went on to receive abiraterone without prednisone. They stayed on study until disease progression, toxicity, um, or withdrawal. Um, and we had very predefined criteria for actually mineralocorticoid toxicity management um, with regards to hypertension management, hypokalemia management, and also edema management. Um, and that was actually the primary endpoint of the study, was actually initiating prednisone, you know, how many people needed prednisone to be initiated because of inability to manage mineralocorticoid toxicity without the addition of prednisone. Um, we enrolled a total of 60 patients on the study, and really what we demonstrated was um, that for the most part, uh, the toxicities of hypertension, hypokalemia, and edema could safely be managed with blood pressure medications, um, implementation of potassium supplementation, using a mineralocorticoid antagonist, um, or um, other uh, diuretic to manage edema. Um, the rates of needing to actually start prednisone because of um, mineralocorticoid toxicity was around 12% um, uh, in the study. And so I think, you know, for the practitioner, um, you know, balancing with each patient, whenever you have a patient in front of you and you're making that decision to start them on abiraterone and also start them on prednisone, you know, that decision to actually start, you know, hold the prednisone, you know, you have to have that discussion with the patient about risks and benefits. Um, you know, if the risks outweigh the benefits, and kind of making sure that the patient understands, um, you know, the, the need for continued monitoring and toxicity when, um, you know, abiraterone is potentially used without the addition of prednisone.